Let's welcome back to the show the founder of the Benson Group. He's a great economist. He's David Benson. You're author of the book, There's No Free Lunch, 250 Economic Truths. It's great to see you. Now, this $5.8 trillion budget, the biggest tax hike ever, that's Biden's fix to what's going on with America? Well, and keep in mind, it's a $5.8 trillion spending budget, but $1.4 trillion of that is planned deficit spending. And this isn't COVID emergency deficit spending. I mean, we can talk about the problems we have with the deficits of 2020, 21, but at least then some people would justify it around COVID. He's planning to codify regular deficits of a trillion and a half dollars on top of the trillions of dollars that was spent over the last several years excessively it's really absolutely surreal you know th we've got also that right so but th david you and i have talked about this how money flies out the door unchecked unmonitored no oversight it's now being called the largest fraud in u.s history the theft of hundreds of billions of dollars in taxpayer pandemic relief it's being used to buy luxury automobiles lamborghinis ferraris mansions teslas swanky vacations let's listen to the inspector general of the justice department speaking to lester holt about this watch this have you been surprised by how quickly fraudsters moved in on this money? Unfortunately, not really. When the Small Business Administration, in sending that money out, basically said to people, apply and sign and tell us that you're really entitled to the money. And of course, for fraudsters, that's an invitation. But what didn't happen was even minimal checks to make sure that the money was getting to the right people at the right time. Whoa, so they can't even get the money back. What do you say? Well, I, I agree with the inspector general that the entire system was basically begging for fraud. And what apparently people didn't take seriously is that the government lacks the competence, but also the incentive. And this is a big part of what I write about in the book on economics, that the government will never have the incentives that we have in the private sector to defend against fraud, to defend against this kind of financial uh, shenanigans. I mean, Senator Elizabeth Warren, David, they want to tax our paper gains on our assets. Do you know why? You would have to double the size of the U.S., uh, excuse me, the IRS bureaucracy to do it, to figure out what's the right paper gain on assets that move up and down on a daily basis. So that's what they're talking about. And, you know, Europe did a wealth tax and it fell apart. 15 out of 17 countries that have tried it have gotten rid of it. I had a whole chapter uh, about this wealth tax idea. And Liz, you're right that not only would they have to double the manpower at the IRS, and you've covered that agency for many years, but I'll say something else. They don't have the ability, whether they double or triple the force, to come up with the competence to actually assess paper gains, uh, closely held business value, all the complexity of people that would now have incentives to drive down asset prices and the valuation of their companies. It's anti-American and it's unconstitutional.